Hey guys, my name is Magic, and today I will be making a short video on how to do spring jumps in Super Mario Maker 2. A lot of you guys requested it in my other video, and since I've had a lot of uh, time, I um, decided I was like, why not, dude? This, this, I might as well show it. Uh, just to start this off, uh, spring jumps are still possible, and uh, are still not too hard, but are much more inconsistent. So if you guys don't get it every few tries, uh, you're not the only one, because... Um, Nintendo basically tried to get rid of Kaizo, and like Kaizo in general for the most part, like uh, midairs, which they did get rid of. Uh, they tried to get rid of spring jumps and they tried to get rid of shell jumps, but of course people found ways to still do it, and it's actually still quite easy. So um, let me show you guys how to do the spring jump, and then I will do it in slow motion so you guys can see uh, what's kind of changed. There we go, guys. It's very similar to the spring jump in Mario Maker 1. You can see that I have to drop it a little bit later than I usually would, but uh, that is because the timing has changed. And the timing, the only reason the timing has changed, and I know it makes a lot of people really angry, but the timing has changed because Nintendo tried to get rid of it, like I said earlier. And uh, yeah, but to start off, guys, uh, what you're gonna want to do uh, to practice is have some, just something like this. Uh, follow my steps. You're gonna want to kind of, you know, get some momentum first, because it's a little bit different, and you can't just kind of drop it under you like you used to be able to, uh, kind of has to be, you kind of have to have more momentum, uh, which I found very interesting, but it still is possible, so if you guys do have experience from Mario Maker 1, this shouldn't take much longer, it only took me a good 30 tries before I was able to, you know, start get, uh, getting good at it, and then I've been able to be more consistent. It's still not 100% and it never will be because, like I said, uh, spring jumps are not inconsistent <laughs> in this game at all uh, now that Nintendo tried to get rid of them. But my tip is uh, run. Um, yeah, so my tip is run, jump, and drop the spring under you, and that's how you do it, guys. best way to practice this is to have a nice small stage like this in uh, when you go into course maker just create something simple like this doesn't even have to be night mode it just has to be something where you and you have enough room to do to practice spring jumps once you guys have practiced enough you can start adding a wall and practice on there my best tips is um, Apologize for my. I'm using a controller to build. Apologies for that. But I would first start off with trying to jump from around here and see if you could do that. Um, uh, and then when you're trying to jump just on the wall like this, it, it is much more inconsistent because uh, it will actually drops under you farther than it would in uh, Mario Maker 1. It would drop right under you, but it is still possible and it's actually still pretty simple which is nice to know. Uh, in the last update, uh, make sure you guys are at 1.01, because if you're at 1.00, you will not be able to do any of the Kaizo tricks. Uh, it was a glitch that I found uh, when I got my beta version earlier. So uh, yeah, just wanted to let you guys know, you must be in 1.0.1. Uh, so make sure that you're in that update to do all this Kaizo properly. Otherwise, you will not be able to perform any of these tricks. But yeah, and that is the spring jump for you guys in Mario Maker 2. Uh, fairly simple still, which is nice to know, right? Uh, definitely more inconsistent, though. I will tell you that. Um, that's really all for today, guys. Uh, if you guys want to see... Uh, maybe some pow drop tutorials or p switch jump tutorials or shell jump tutorials make sure to comment down below i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you all in the next one take care guys